Welcome to my chef and my name is Chef Fran. This is my sweet chef Ian. How are we doing today? Today we are making January food of the month and one of the foods of the month is oatmeal and I am doing my own version called a power bowl oatmeal and you see all these wonderful nutritional things here. We're using rolled oats today and we have almond milk and we have almond butter, raspberries, and we have a combination here of some dark chocolate, some almonds, some pegates, which is pumpkin seeds and peanuts. And we also have blueberries. We have cinnamon and nutmeg, as well as coconut flakes, and a little honey to make things a little sweeter in our life. Okay. And this is called a trilogy. And the trilogy mix here has our flax seed and our chai seeds, chai, chia, people call it, I call it chai. You may call it something else, <laughs> but I call it chai, C-H-I-A, I call it chai. So, um, but call it whatever you like, honey. Mm -hmm. And it also has some flax seeds in there. And so we're gonna get into our vitamin content and then Ian's gonna cook up our oatmeal and we're gonna power bowl it up. We have our oatmeal, which is vitamins B1, thiamine, manganese, and biotin. And biotin is amazing for your hair growth, as well as the shine of your hair. We're actually using rolled oats. And rolled oats is different than steel oats. Rolled oats, what they do is steam it and flatten the oats, as opposed to cutting it with the steel blade, which is from what is called steel oats. So this is rolled oats, and the oats are steamed and flattened so it could cook quicker. Now we have our almond milk, and our almond milk has vitamins A, E, D, and calcium. We have our wonderful blueberries, um, which is vitamins A, C, K, and manganese. And it also helps with um, breastfeeding as well. We have raspberries, vitamins A, potassium, thiamine, and B6 calcium, riboflavin, and zinc. And we know that zinc is really great for your immune system. And especially in the times where the weather is getting a little cooler. And we have coconut, which has vitamin B and iron. And we have our cinnamon, which has vitamin A and iron. Need all that iron if you have, um, if you're anemic. So this helps, not just spinach. And also uh, cinnamon is good if you're trying to do some weight management help curb your appetite. We also have nutmeg, which also has vitamin A, C, E, magnesium, and manganese. And um, we have our honey, our little honey packet here, or you can use any honey that you have. And it has niacin, uh, manganese, calcium, potassium, and pectothenic acid. Pectothenic acid. Now we have our mix which has some dark chocolate, almonds, walnuts, um, um, pepitas, which is pumpkin seeds, as well as some peanuts in here. It's a mix. And the dark chocolate has iron, magnesium, zinc, and copper. And your almonds has your vitamin E, magnesium, manganese, and it's a good source of protein and fiber. It helps lower your bad cholesterol, your LDL, and almonds also are bone building food. So one ounce has as much calcium as one half cup of milk. So if you didn't know that, now you know. Walnuts has your vitamin B, C, E, manganese, and folic acid. And your pepitas, which is your pumpkin seed, has vitamin K. And now we're gonna get into our wonderful trilogy here, Hemp Heart has vitamins E, potassium, and phosphorus. It's rich in healthy fats and essentially fatty acids and great source of protein as well. And then you have your chai seeds, which has vitamin B and iron, and it's high in fiber and omega-3. And your flax seeds has manganese and ma uh, magnesium as well. And your almond butter has potassium, calcium, and manganese. Now, Ian's gonna start to cook his Oatmeal. Well, E, mm -hmm. Ian just put some almond milk in there and a little bit of butter. Right. And now he's going to add his two tablespoons. Well, if you have here, E, actually, this looks like 
Three. You love the sweets, you huh? That's why I put a little extra. Three tablespoons yeah. of your brown sugar. <laughs> put extra. Huh. Come on, Mama. I want to make sure. Uh -huh. I want to make you sure. You got that got... brown goodness, huh? Yeah, I like the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> e, this is a little bit too much cinnamon, so I only want you to put half of that in there. Half of it? Okay. Yes. Nutmeg during the holidays on my eggnog. That's in your eggnog, Ian, and you're not putting a whole bunch in it. <laughs> I know it's like healthy and everything, but still. Okay. So obviously, our almond milk has turned brown from our brown sugar and from our cinnamon, mm -hmm. but it's okay because it's good stuff going in here. Okay. So it's eat. To bubble. bubble. So here you go. Add your royal oats. Okay. Your royal oats and then you're gonna mix it yeah. and lower your heat yeah definitely want to lower the heat mama first you want to mix it in there we go okay get everything that's on the side that's right there you go that's right. the way you tell yes me to exactly I'm learning all right so takes you, a little time what you want to do is just stir it for a few minutes you want to put the lid on it and come back and check it again whichever milk you have at home that's fine. Now we got to our fruits here. This is the fruits that we chose for the different vitamins in it. But whatever fruit you have at home, you can substitute and use yourself. So if you want to use apples instead, or you want to use, which has great, so it's a great sauce of fiber. It has a lot of vitamin C in it. Just to let you know. But if you want to use pears or apples or mangoes, whatever you want to use, you can. So here, now summer. we're going to let it cook for about eight minutes or so um, because this is the organic one non-processed so it's gonna take a little bit longer but again whatever oatmeal you have at home that's Quaker oats you can use that not the packet no but the one that's in the canister it's fine as well and you can use whatever spices you like. If you don't want to add any sugar, then don't add any sugar. If you wanted to add monk fruit instead, you can add that. This is all about creativity. This is all about trying to cook what you have at home and use what you have and what you like to your palate. Um, I am putting ingredients here that are healthy and of course that we like, except for bananas. Um, but you do what fits you. So once this is done, we're going to put it in our bowl and we're going to assemble it. I'm going to make my own sort of decoration and Ian's going to do his own. Yeah. And we'll just kind of give you different ideas and you can do whatever you feel comfortable with. So the key things that the, um, because we have chocolate in here, dark chocolate, we do have to wait for it to cool down. Otherwise, we could have just went ahead and started assembling. Right. So once if the oatmeal is cooked, we're going to let it cool down for a few minutes, only because we don't want the chocolate melting into it. You know, we want to be able to have that solid, um, not necessarily crunch, but like chew under our teeth from the chocolate. That's how we want to do it. So now here is our nice, nutritious garnishment. I'm going to do one thing and Ian's going to do another. Mm -hmm. And it's just whatever we kind of feel like doing and you guys can do the same. And so, Ian, let's start. Let's go ahead. Oh, Ian, that looks beautiful. I'm trying. Oh, that's <laughs> great. Yeah. Well, extra cinnamon in there, yeah, right? Yeah. Never hurt anyone. Nope. Okay, you're, you're good, Ian. I'm good with the cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> Can I throw a little honey on it real quick? Throw a little honey on it. Yeah. Well, E, we did it! Yes, we did. Wow. You know, food is a masterpiece. You can, like I said, make your own design. And this was ours. So you can actually be more creative than us. It's okay. We won't be upset. So E, we're going to eat this. Bon, bon appetit. appetit. Okay, guys. You know me. 
Go ahead. I can't. I gotta have my bacon on this. Uh huh. Go this ahead. This is my Mama. turkey bacon. There you go. And I've got to have my bacon on this. I know you're probably saying, what is she doing? She All loves that bacon. bacon. She loves her bacon. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. This is actually turkey bacon that I made for Ian mm -hmm. that he Said did my... not really eat. So, so I am going, I can't let it go to waste. I'm going to eat it for him. <laughs> and um, who says that bacon just has to be with savory dishes? Um, Hello. Bacon's for everything. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Bacon on ice cream. I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna taste so much better with bacon. Trying bacon on ice cream next? <laughs> hey, bacon can go with everything. All right, all right. That's what I feel. All I'm right. Try to get some chocolate in here. Because, you know, mm. a lot of people love chocolate. Ooh, here it is. Oh, the chocolate's melting just a little bit. Wow. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. E, I'm speechless. You did a good job. I'm speechless. Mm. That's how good it is. I'm speechless. Guys, <laughs> this oh is some really good oatmeal. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come on, E. Mmm. 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 Listen, <laughs> give us a virtual hug by yeah. clicking the like button. Subscribe, subscribe, and you will enjoy what we make weekly for you. We look forward to hearing from you in the comment sections. Let us know how you did your plate, your oatmeal bowl, your power bowl. This was ours. Be part of the family, guys. Yes. Right? Be, Be part, part of, of our family. family. And you know what? Loving every bite. There you go. Bam. We love you guys. Yes, we do. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye.